Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have seen all the mutation methods for user schema. We have seen the login, register, and the update user and delete user. Now in this video, we will try to test those methods which have been defined here. So you can see in the user resolver, we have created this sign up, user sign up, and we are passing username, email, password, then user sign in, then remove user and update user. These methods. So if we try to test these methods, we can just use our the same one. We can use this particular add-on or we can also access the graph IQL. Okay, here in the documentation, you can see we have different methods, sign up, sign in, update user, delete user. So this is the mutation I'm performing. And I'm just changing this payload to a little bit. And I'm just sending this request. So user has been registered. Okay, now you can perform the login. I'm just changing it based on the whatever I passed. So you can see I'm getting logged in and I'm getting the token. Right. So now what, what we are going to do is we are going to add authorization layer. What it will do is it will not allow you to access update user and delete user until unless you are not logged in. So it is same as the, the, the traditional middle where we write in the express which will just check the XAPI token or authorization header, gets access the token and validate the token expiry first. If the token is valid, then only it will allow you to access this update user and delete user method. Okay, so that we will see in the next video.